starting at the posterior superior iliac spine and looking for the ilium which is a straight line so we have a straight line here which is the ilium followed by that you have two muscles the gluteus maximus and gluteus medius move the ultrasound probe quadrat looking for the curved ischium and now we are into the greater sciatic foramen so here we have muscle on the top gluteus maximus muscle below gluteus maximus is piriformis and the curved shape ischium and now here we have to pay attention to this curved bone and we will keep scanning it quadrat and this curve will eventually become a straight line and that will be the ischial spine and now here you have to put a lot of pressure and you have to toe in and you will see that the ischium is now become a straight line so here we have straight line so initially the ischium was curved now it's straight and you see the arterial pulsation that's the pudendal artery internal pudendal artery and here you can clearly see the pudendal nerve so the pudendal nerve is sandwiched between sacrospinous ligaments so this is the spine of the ischium and then the sacrum so the ligament that is between the sacrum and the ischial spine is sacrospinous ligament and the ligament on the top below the gluteus maximus muscle is sacrotuberous ligament and between these two ligaments is the plane or the target for the pudendal nerve the injection you can perform outer plane or you can perform in plane i would always recommend performing an in plane technique because this way you can see the needle tip and you can avoid injury to the internal pudendal artery i put about 5 mls of local anesthetic local anesthetic and steroid mixture to perform a pudendal nerve block thank you